I almost forgot to record this, but um, today is a day where I am driving by myself to an appointment. I have not driven myself to an appointment for five and a half years, so this is a remarkable day. And uh, the unfortunate thing is it's a mammogram. Now it's, at least it's not a necessary mammogram, but I'm trying to give my husband a break and uh, I've been practicing by driving with him to the rec center when I can. And, uh, but today is the day I am driving on my own. So hip hip hooray, and we'll see how this goes. But uh, had to record this. We'll see you later. Oh, I didn't realize I was being taped, but I arrived at my destination. Yeehaw! I can't stop it. So I'm at the medical facility, and um, when I got here, I couldn't find handicap parking. And guess what? They don't have handicap parking. I came in and I told them I'm a disability advocate, and I look... I need handicap parking. If all the parking spots are taken, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. And so I advocate for others. And um, this is a medical facility. I told them they need to look into getting some, some handicap parking. I don't think it's that hard, especially for a medical place. So anyway, that happened. On to the next phase. All right, so I'm just leaving. Um, I was not able to get my mammogram um, because of my CRPS. I'm too sensitive. And uh, I haven't had one in a while because I haven't been able to come. And uh, found out I, I um, am too sensitive to have a regular mammogram. So I'm on my way back home. It wasn't a waste because I am advocating for handicap parking spots at this medical facility. So I talked with several people, spoke with several people about getting some signs up and some painters out here to get some handicap parking spots done. So hopefully, maybe that was the reason why I was supposed to come today and hopefully that will happen. Um, more on handicap parking spots to come. Stay tuned. Okay, well, I made it. I'm home, and I'm home safe. A um, couple things that I've learned is I can't go much farther than where I went because my foot is really hurting that I push the pedal for the gas. So, um, that was important to learn. Um, I learned that I could do it, um, and I learned that I also have to keep in mind how much walking I'm going to have to do wherever I go because I did have to walk back to a weight room and then get dressed and do some walking around which also hurt my foot so I'm limping now um which I usually limp a little bit but I mean I'm limping more so yes I was able to do it and thank you God for restoring this ability thank you thank you thank you thank you it's been five and a half years and I was able to let Mark work which is important to me and um, so enough for now but thank you I forgot to mention something I was gonna talk more about um, handicap parking so a couple days ago, my daughter and I went to go um, have some retainers remade at the orthodontist. And we went to park in, in that handicap. They had two handicap parking spots, which I appreciate. Um, however, they were snow packed and icy and the rest of the parking lot was not. So business owners, please take care of your handicap spots. Please shovel them enable people who are handicapped to come into your your building uh, your business um we'd really appreciate it and um you know today we're working on getting some signs put up so 
I'm advocating for handicapped parking spots. Um, okay, take care. Bye, y'all.